Hi everyone, my name is Ksenia and if you're here, you're probably interested in sustainability, zero waste, minimalism and mental health. Today's video took me over three months to make, but not because it's uh, technically savvy or anything like that, but because it took us around three months to do house renovation and also work in the garden to finally share the results with you. In my previous videos dedicated to the homestead, I've shared the preparations we were doing in spring prior to the gardening season and also all the steps that we had to take to renovate our thatched roof. I've also made some shorts with the updates along the way, but this video is just to break it down more in detail. So for the roof, we started by installing the scaffolding and then moving on to strip the old reed from the roof, which we decided to do ourselves as well to spare some money. It took a lot of work and it was also very dusty and itchy and hot to remove the straw but luckily we had the support of our community, of our friends and family so it was easier to overcome. We donated some of the leftover straw to local farmers and also put it as bedding for our own chickens and also spread it in the tree nursery against the weeds. Meanwhile upstairs the construction team made several windows on each side of the roof which made a lot of difference now it's so much lighter and I can't wait to have this view from my bedroom one day. The roof is now also insulated from the inside and outside, so hopefully it will be reflected in our energy bill in the winter. We covered the roof with these huge tarps against the water damage and we worked to remove our chimney um, me and my partner actually took it apart completely and then reused the stones which i cleaned so uh, the stones in the new chimney are the original stones for the reed roof itself we actually hired professionals a family-owned company who actually put the, this roof on 30 years ago. It's very labor intensive work and it took around four weeks for them to complete the roof. Here's how it looks finished without the tile. Here is the view of the finished roof and the chimney and here is also the wind vane uh, with sparrows because we have sparrows living in our garden. Speaking of the garden, there has been some progress made. As you recall, I was struggling with finding time and also the wet weather in the garden but I managed to grow all the vegetables and then plant them out in the greenhouses that we have and now we are already starting to reap some of the results of our labor. So what I did initially was cover the garden with the 
tarps to smother the weeds and after that I uncovered everything made beds and planted and sowed everything that I had prepared Don't forget, of course, about my adorable baby chickens and ducks. We had two nests this year and the first one was just for the chickens with our own eggs and then we um, got uh, some duck eggs from our friends. They are all Indian runner ducks. They cannot fly. They walk uh, waddle like this adorably and they are great for um, combating some pests like slugs we didn't have any problem with them this year because of these little buddies they were growing up so quickly they quickly turned into teenagers um, during our holidays so when we got back we didn't recognize them and we gave them a bigger enclosure and also with the hotter days we've been having in August I made them a small pool where they could chill and relax and now they are all together roaming around with the rest of our chickens because they are big enough thank you so much for watching and giving me an opportunity to show off my lovely animals and the house if you like my videos please let me know what you would like me to make videos about in the comments and as all youtubers and vloggers say please like this video and subscribe bye